Thanks for stopping by. This is Two Minute Classroom, and today we're talking about concentration gradients versus electrochemical gradients. We'll cover what they are and why they are so important, complete with examples. A gradient in this context is a force caused by an imbalance of particles or compounds across a semi-permeable membrane. Easy, right? It sounds complicated, but just think of it like a dam. We have a high concentration of water on one side of the dam and a low concentration of water on the other side. This high concentration of water causes a gradient force that can push turbines to generate electricity as the water flows through the dam. In biology, the membranes are like the dam, keeping particles separated. In a concentration gradient, we're just separating particles or compounds such as water or glucose. One general example of this is diffusion. Small uncharged particles flow across a cellular membrane to make sure both sides are balanced. An electrochemical gradient is just a concentration gradient with charged particles. Now this adds a separation of charges across a membrane, making the gradient force even stronger. A common example of an electrochemical gradient is the separation of hydrogen ions in the electron transport chain. This gradient is used to power the enzyme ATP synthase, which makes nearly all of our ATP. Another classic example is the separation of sodium and potassium ions across cell membranes. This separation of oppositely charged ions allows neurons to send signals throughout our body, without which we would not function. If you have a test coming up, check out my test prep playlist. It'll give you the tips you need to hit your goals. And speaking of goals, I have a goal setting video for students just like you. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.